Konnichiwa. My name is Azume Nasuhi. I am the um, ace for Karasuno. And I'm going to try to do a YouTube thing. Um, so, Nishinoya, Yuni Shinoya is the best boyfriend in the entire world. And he wanted me to say that. I know it was the best, but I'm not sure about saying it all. sugar packets with water and it makes food. Um, he got me the ramen set because ramen is my favorite and I just thought I would share with you all how to make this. Especially for those of you in other countries who may not be able to get pop and cooking because it's Japanese but hopefully you will enjoy this little tutorial thing. Before you get started with your pop and cooking kit you will also need a cup of water and scissors to cut things. So the first step in pop-in cooking is to open the package. If I can even get the package open. I already can't get a package open. Oh wait, that's what scissors are for. Never mind. There we go. And now, so you will see, it will come with the ramen powder, the sauce powder, the sprinkles, or dumpling mix, a size thing for making dumplings and other pieces, plus it's a piping bag. a piece of white clay. Well, not really clay, it's more like candy clay. And this, your cooking set. So after you get all of your materials out, you will cut each of these pieces apart from each other. components of your meal cut out. So what we're first going to do, put those to the side, and we are going to use the dumpling mold, and we're going to use this mold to make sakura and an egg. So for this you're going to need your white candy and your piping bag. I don't know if you can see that, but as a sizing guide for the sakura and the egg and the dumpling circle. So, cut the candy out. And there's a toothpick. I lost it, but I found it. And you're going to just pinch off a small piece. And you're going to mold it about into the size you need for your egg and your sakura. So once you have one, Go ahead and push it into a mold. Drop the other, another ball for the sakura. Just put that to the side for now. And now we're going to break this off into two. Because we want to try to make two dumplings. So we're going to take our first little ball and roll it and then flatten it as much as we can. And then we'll put it inside of our little mold. And 
now we're going to take the candy sprinkles. Cook off a little bit of the corner. And we're going to sprinkle in the filling. Oops, a little too much filling. And now the fun part is you're going to take your little dumpling mold and close it as tight as you can. And then when you open it, it should be a whole dumpling. Now you're going to take your little square container, gently peel the dumpling off, and put it inside. So now you have one! Yay! Now we have to make another one. So we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to flatten it out as much as we can. Put it in our mold. Again, flattening as much as we can. I do warn you the candy gets a little sticky, so it might stick to your hands. And then we sprinkle a little more of the sprinkles. Do a little less this time, because we need to save the sprinkles for the ramen, of course. And then we take it and squeeze it together. And there you go, there's our second dumpling. And it goes in with the first, and that is done. Yay! And now we'll set this aside, we'll set that aside. And now comes the fun part, we're going to make our ramen. Yay! I love this part of making the ramen. Sometimes Dachi likes to laugh at me because that's my favorite part, but I love it. So what you're going to do is you're going, there's this little line down here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. And that is the fill line. That is where you're going to fill this with water. And this one also has a fill line, but we'll fill that in just a second. So now I'm going to carefully fill this with water. There we go, just like that. And then you're going to take your ramen powder. Open it up. really sweet and then just dump the whole thing in there let's go ahead and fill this with water going to take our soft powder and we're going to pour that into the bowl. And we will now go ahead and start by mixing the powder that is in the soy sauce bowl. Well, I mean in the ramen bowl, I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't always get words right. Mix it till all the powder has completely dissolved. And then you set that aside. And now we're going to mix our ramen powder until it becomes like a dough. More like a dough, more like a kind of runny dough consistency. Take our toothpick out of the package. And we're going to take our piping bag and put the toothpick through the corner of the piping bag. And now we're going to take our fork and fill up our piping bag. Uh-oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I knew this was gonna be bad. 
Oh no, oh, oh no! Uh. You can do this, Asahi. You can do this. Just get it into the thing. Such a big mess. Oh no. Oh, oh crap, oh crap. If Noya saw this, he would not be very happy with me. So I'm gonna try to use this wrapper and clean up as best I can. We've got our bag filled. We can go ahead and first let's take these out of their molds. And as you can see, the egg is hollow. And the sakura has a hollow swirl. We're going to take those and we're going to pipe our yellow dough into them. So we're just gonna take everything and squish it into the corner. We're just gonna fill up each little thing. Now we're gonna do the fun part. We're going to squirt the noodle mix into the sauce and it will make noodles. Sakura and put it right on top. Uh oh, sticking a little bit. And don't forget to add the rest of your sprinkles. Now we are finished. So here's our ramen. You can't see it too well because I don't want to spill it. But it has our sakura, our egg, the noodles, and here are the little meat dumpling things. So let's go ahead and try one of these. I think I got one that's really full. Mmm, that's really good. Um, the clay tastes a lot like grape, and the can and the inside candy just tastes like sprinkles. Kind of like strawberry sprinkles. Mmm. And now I'll try the ramen. Just get a fork full up so you can see what it looks like. Mmm. Mm. Really good and really sweet. A little bit soft, but that's okay. Still really good. And now I'll try some with the sakura. Sakura is really good too. And some noodle with the egg. Mmm. Mmm, that was really yummy. So, arigato for joining me on this poppin' cooking adventure, which I think turned out to be disastrous, but I mean, it still tasted good. If you like what you see, Please subscribe, like, favorite, whatever you want to do, and I hope you have a wonderful day.